All right, now we are going to look at start start relationships in a network diagram, also in a Gantt chart. So, first of all, we have our table of dependencies here for a project. We have four activities. Activity A is at the beginning. We have a start start relationship here uh, where B depends on A as a start start. There's a regular finish to start relationship here, nothing fancy there. You know how to do that. And then D has a start start relationship uh, where it depends on C, and there's a lag of two days. So, first of all, let's draw our Gantt chart like this. Now let's draw in our activities, the bars for each activity. Uh, we'll start with activity A because it has no predecessor. It's at the beginning of the project and has a duration of two days. So we'll go right here. We'll start at the very beginning of the project and go one, two days. So that's our bar on our Gantt chart for activity A. Activity B, it depends on A, but it's a start-start relationship. So that means activity B can start when A starts. That's the definition of the start-start relationship. Well, when we look at the Gantt chart and we see where activity A starts, it actually starts at the very beginning of the project. So by the start-start relationship definition, that's where B will also start. Now B's duration is three days, so we'll go one, two, three, just like that. Notice we're not starting at the end of A because that's not what a start-start relationship is. Activity C depends on B. This is just regular finish to start relationship. You don't have to specify finish to start because that's just like the basic relationship we can have in a Gantt chart or uh, any type of project logic. So we'll go here, we'll find the end of B, and that's where we'll start C, and it's four days long. So C starts at the end of B, and it's one, two, three, four days long, just like that. Now, activity D. This guy depends on activity C with a lag of two, right? SS2 means it's a start-start relationship with a lag of two days. So what we do is we come down, we find where does C start. Okay, well C is starting on this three marker here, the end of day three. And then we're going to add two days because that's where our lag is. So we'll go one, two, and this is where D starts. And D is a duration of three days. So we go one, two, three. So there we go. That's our Gantt chart. And you can see that the project, the duration of the whole project would be eight days. Now, let's just go ahead and draw our PDM network diagram. And we need to specify on which of these arrows aren't regular finished to start relationships. So that will be the relationship between B and A because B depends on A, it's a start-start relationship, so we'll just write start-start SS with no lag, because there is no lag there. Uh, we can also, on this last arrow from C to D, D depends on C, and it's a start-start with lag of 2, so start-start, and we'll put in that 2, SS2. The other way we can do a start-start relationship, remember from one of the previous videos, they could have drawn the arrow something like this, uh, and then you wouldn't need to label it start-start, because you can visually see it goes from the start, to the start of the next one, but I don't like that method. I prefer just keeping it simple, draw a straight line, and just label what the type of relationship is. All right, so now let's go ahead and we'll do our early start, early finish on the forward pass. So we're starting at the very beginning of the project, so it's zero, so zero plus two is two. A ends on two. Now this is a start-start relationship, so B, the earliest start, can start when A's earliest start is, or it can start when A starts. So we'll look here, and there's a zero here, so we bring the zero over and zero plus three is three. Now this is a regular relationship, a regular finish to start relationship, so we have to bring the three over. Uh, and then three plus four is seven. And we're looking here, our start start with a lag of two. So this start, the earliest start here can be two days after this guy starts. So we're going to be starting on five, right? Three plus two is five. And then five plus three is eight. Now let's compare our PDM network diagram to our Gantt chart and just see if the dates uh, or the times all line up. So here on our Gantt chart we have A going from 0 to 2. Well A goes from 0 to 2. Okay, that makes sense. B goes from 0 to 3. B goes from 0 to 3 on the network diagram as well. Uh, activity C goes from 3 to 7. So we have activity C here from 3 to 7. That's also correct. And activity D goes from 5 to 8. So we have 5 to 8. So that's just uh, to show you that you can do it visually with the Gantt chart or you can do it by using the forward pass on the PDM network diagram. Now when we go back, we'll do our backwards pass, so we'll bring the 8 down, subtract 3 to get 5, and then same thing, when we're going back, uh, the latest start is also two days after the start, the late start of C. Much like the, the, late, the early start is two days after the early start, you just bring, uh, you have 5 and you subtract 2 from it, so we'll get three. And what you'll actually do is you'll fill in the start first because you know what the start is if it's two days earlier than this. So we'll bring our three here and then you'll add the four so you'll get seven. Now when we're looking at how to fill out this guy, well this is a regular finish to start relationship so we'll just bring the three across like we have been doing in simpler examples. 
and a 3 minus 3 gives us 0. And then when we're looking here, it's a start-start relationship. So we don't know anything about uh, this end date. This is pretty meaningless to us. Because imagine if A was 20 days long, well, this would still start when it starts. So anyways, uh, this is just a start-start. So the late start has to start when the late start of A starts. So we're going to bring the 0 over. These have to be the same. If there was lag, we would account for it like we did over here, right? 2 was the difference between 5 and 3. But it's not. And then we have 0, 2, and then our, we'll find our late finish will just be 2.